What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I got another great tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys 7 tips to get in wider guitars in your mix. Now these are recording tips I'm going to be showing you guys today and they are fantastic. They're tips that I've learned over the years to record your guitars so now I want to share them with you guys. So make sure you stay tuned, all right? And if you're gonna like this video, make sure you hit the like button, okay? And guys, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. Because guys, we just reached 272 subscribers on this channel. Golden Productions has been growing fantastically. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because I don't want you guys to miss a thing on this channel. I want to do my best to help you guys get fantastic mixes in your mixing studio and to help you create fantastic songs. And I'm always here for you. And make sure you leave comments down below and because I will definitely get back to you guys. And follow me on social medias. I'll put my social media links right here on the side of the screen so you guys can see them and always get in contact with me. You guys are awesome. Keep coming back to this channel and let's get into the video today. Here we go. Alright guys, so like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys different tips to recording guitars and to get in them wider in your mix. Now as I said, these are different tips I've learned over the years and right now I want to share them with you. So tip number one is to use different microphones in your recordings and in your tracks. So what you want to do is on each track that you record a guitar, use different microphones. So let's say on the first track, you use a condenser microphone. Then what you want to do is on the second track that you record, if you're doubling the guitars, you want to use a different microphone. So let's say you use a condenser microphone on the first track. Then what you would do is use a dynamic microphone on the second track or a ribbon microphone or maybe a um, USB microphone. Any microphone you want to use. So by using different microphones on each track, it allows you to get separation and to get different sounds out of your guitar. It really helps. So give it a try and it will really help you create that wider sound that we're all looking for on guitars. All right. All right, guys. So here is tip number two for you guys. Now, this tip is also a microphone placement technique. All right. I'm going to tell you guys about how you should position your microphones in your mixes and to record the guitar. So the way you want to position your microphones is find the best technique for you guys. All right. So one of my favorite techniques to use is I use a condenser microphone when I record acoustic guitars. So one of my personal favorite um, positions is I put my condenser microphone about a foot away from the sound hole of the acoustic guitar. And then what I do is I take the microphone and I turn it so it's angling at the 12th fret of the guitar. And what that is actually going to do is pick up the body of the guitar, which is all in here, and it's also going to pick up the clarity of the guitar on the neck. So pretty much what that's doing is it's picking up the body and the clarity and it creates a nice blend together so it sounds really nice all right 
Also, I also created a video on how to record an acoustic guitar in microphone positions. So if you guys haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description of that video down below, and I'll also leave a link up here so you guys can see it. All right, so make sure you go check it out and give it a like. And also, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up, all right, and hit that subscribe button and leave a comment because I love to read what you guys have to say, all right? Now, let me show you another microphone technique that will really help you guys too. Another microphone technique is to take a dynamic microphone, all right? Now, you want to place it, you don't want to um, place it about a foot away like the other technique. What you want to do is just place it anywhere in front of your guitar. Then, as you see right down here, what you want to do is position it right there. And what that is going to do is pick up this sound of the guitar. I actually learned this technique from a guy from um, uh, another YouTube site called Produce Like a Pro. His name is Warren Hugh, so go check him out. All right. Now, another technique is you can use microphones over the shoulder. You can use them down here on the body. There are so many techniques that you can use for microphones. So for what you want to do is for each track that you record, you want to use a different microphone for each track. So for the first track that you record, use a condenser microphone. Or and then and then use pick a position. And then for the next track move the microphone to a different position and then record that. So there are there's two tips for you guys to recording guitars. All right? All right guys, tip number 3. Now this is a good one. Use different guitar amps for every track. All right. So every guitar amp sounds different. And you want to use different guitar amps because you want different tones in your mix, right? So by using different guitar amps, it allows you to get separation, different tones, different sounds, all this cool stuff. And you get wider guitars. So let's say you record one track with one tone, right? You pick a distortion tone, a clean tone, a crunch tone a wah tone, anything you want to pick, you record it, right? Then what you do is you create another track and you pick a completely different tone and record it on that track. So then what you do is you pan them together outside, out wide, one to the left, one to the right, and it creates this stereo guitar sound that we're all looking for and it sounds awesome. So make sure you use different tones for each track when you record because it'll allow you to get wider guitars in your mix. All right? All right, so here is tip number four for you guys. Now this is another guitar amp trick. Use different guitar cabinets in your songs. All right? Now this is just like the tones. But guitar cabinets all sound different. So make sure you use different cabinets because what you want to do is, of course, get different tones. Also, I'll, if you guys don't know what a cabinet is on the guitar amp, I'll leave a picture of it up on the screen here for you guys. All right? A cabinet is actually what the sound comes through. It's what where the speakers are on the guitar amp. It's not the controls that you guys see up top. It's the cabinet where the speakers are. Okay? So use different cabinets in your mix. It will also allow you to get those wider guitars. All right, guys. Now here is tip number five for you guys. Use different guitars for each track. All right. So what you want to do is maybe on your first track, 
you would use a Fender guitar. And then maybe next, you would use an Ibanez. So use different guitars for each track because every guitar sounds different and every guitar has a different feel. So by using different guitars on each track, you're gonna create that wideness, that separation, dynamics, and it really helps, okay? And remember, all these tips that I'm telling you guys today are gonna create that wideness, that dynamic, and that separation that we're all looking for in our mixes, and they're gonna help you with it. Also, these tips, they help you because they're gonna make your life so much easier in the mixing process. You won't have to do that much work with mixing because good mixing is all about pepper preparation. You always have to arrange, you always have to prep. So preparation is all good mixing. Remember that, write that down because you're gonna wanna know that, all right? All right, guys, so as you can see, I switched guitars and I switched to one of my electrics. This is actually one of my favorite guitars because the reason I switched is because I'm gonna be talking about pickups. Now, if you don't know what pickups are, pickups are this little knob right down here that you can move back and forth. Now, what pickups do for you is they really create different tones. There's your high pickup, your middle pickup, and your bridge pickup. Now, the key to that is to use it in different places throughout your song. So what you want to do is maybe in the intro, you'll use a bridge pickup. Then maybe once you get to the verse, you'll use the middle pickup. And then once you get to the chorus, maybe the bridge pickup. So experiment with that and really pay attention to how each sound sounds. So plug in your guitar to your amp, play around with the pickup and see because it creates different sounds for you. So make sure you experiment with that because it's also gonna do those three things for you that I'm trying to teach you guys today is wideness, dynamics, and arranging. So make sure you experiment with the pickup because pickups are really helpful for you to get nice wideness, dynamics, and arranging. All right, guys, so here's the last tip for you guys. Now, a lot of you might not know this, or you might know this, but guitar picks have something to do with all of these tips. By using different guitar picks, you can actually create better space for your um, guitars. Now, there are different guitar picks out there. So use a different guitar pick on each section of your song. So use one in the verse, the chorus, and the intro. And you wanna use different guitar picks throughout the song because different guitar picks actually create a different sound on your guitar. And they will help you create those sounds, those dynamics, those arrangements, and different tones they'll help with too. So make sure you use different guitar picks throughout your whole song. That's a tip that will really help you too. All right, guys, so I hope these tips helped you out today, and I hope you enjoyed these tips, all right? Now, make sure you use these tips in your mixes because I know they're gonna help you out a lot and I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, all right? And I just wanna thank you guys so much for subscribing to my videos. You guys have really, really changed my life and really um, supported me in a great way. So make sure you keep on hitting that subscribe button and keep following my channel. You guys are awesome and keep making great music. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. 
because I really want you guys to be involved in this channel because I'm making content for you guys. You guys are awesome. Keep coming back. I know you guys have learned so much and leave comments because I love to read what you guys have to say. Alright? And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. See you guys then.